In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up an automatic buy one, get one free offer for your Shopify stores. So let me show you this in action. If I click on add to cart on this product, you can see an additional version of the product is added automatically to the cart as a buy one, get one free. This is going to help you increase your conversion rate because it creates a higher perceived value for your customers. So more people will check out because they do get a buy one, get one free. Now you might want to go and add something to your announcement bar and to your product title, just to say that this is a buy one, get one free offer on the product. And then you, we can proceed to actually setting this up. So in order to set this up, you can just head to your Shopify dashboard, come over to apps, and then you are going to click on app and sales channel settings, and you are going to search for the Monk app. I will also leave a link in the description to the Monk app, and all you need to do is just install this app onto your store. Now this is one of the best apps when it comes to setting up buy one, get one freeze, free gifts, cart upsells, and things like that. So there are lots of different things you can do with the Monk app. But of course, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to set up a automatic buy one, get one free. So just click on install on the Monk app. And once you have installed the Monk app, you will be brought over to the Monk dashboard. Just make sure you have enabled the app. So I've already enabled it, but you just need to click on enable now and then you just need to toggle this on from your Shopify store's front end. Now we can go and set up your automatic buy one, get one free offer. So you can come over to funnels. You can click on create new funnel, choose gifts and shipping, scroll down and choose buy one, get one free and click on create offer. Choose auto add and click on next and then give your buy one, get one free offer a name and click on next. From here, you can choose the product that you want to set the buy one, get one free up on. So leave it as specific product contains any, and then select the product that you want to create your buy one, get one free offer for. So I'm gonna select this one here and click on add. You can schedule a time that you want your offer to be available from. So you can go and set a time if you want to, and then you are just going to click on next. You can then select the product that you want to use as your buy one, get one free. So we're just gonna select product, and we are going to select the same product because we are doing a buy one, get one free of the same product. So just click on add. And then if we scroll down, I recommend to turn off automatically refresh the page. And also I recommend to turn off gift opt out. So customers can't opt out of the buy one, get one free. And then all you need to, to do is click on save and activate. Once you save your offer, you will be brought back to the funnels area within the Monk app. And now you can go and preview your buy one, get one free offer. So if we click on preview, and now from here, if we click on add to cart, and you should see your buy one, get one free offer set up within your cart. So it is as simple as that to set up a buy one, get one free with the Monk app. You can also come into analytics within the Monk app to see the analytics for each of your funnel offers. So you'll be able to see how many people have viewed your funnel, how many orders were involved, how much revenue you actually achieved and things like that. And you can also go and change the design and styling of things within the Monk app. So if you click on design and styling, you can go and change the design and styling of any of your funnels and offers that you create with the Monk app. So we'll leave a link in the description to the Monk app so you can go and set up your own buy one, get one free offers. Give the video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.